Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on the channel on X4. Today we're going to be covering how you can claim sectors both for yourself and from the enemy that you choose or factions that you choose to make war with including the Xenon as well. You can claim faction um, segments from any of the factions so you can um, take them over and I'm going to tell you how you can do that. Um, but first of all let's talk about how you can claim a, a sector for yourself. Now the sectors that you can't claim Currently, um, straight off the bat, are the ones that are coloured. You can see Argon Prime where we are is coloured blue, as is the Reach. They tend to um, colour based off the, the faction. So, for example, Argon Prime is this, this blue colour. You see the lighter blue in the void here is the Anti Antigone. And there are other colours as well to move around. Now, bear in mind, I have got the entire map in view here. So if you don't want to see the whole map, then try to avoid looking at all of the segments. I will try to avoid lingering on some of the ones that are loading up. Um, however, how do you claim your own faction? Well, what you need is, is a couple of... Well, it's just one thing, really, um, and one condition. So the condition is is that there is no administrative centre in the sector that you're trying to claim. And you'll know that by this kind of white-grey border here. You'll notice also these sections here are also in grey. If they're not, they'll be in this colour here. If they are held by the same faction, they become that faction sector. If they are not, like you saw here, they are in dispute. Now, this here in Argon Prime shows no defensive station whatsoever, which is the general clue as to whether or not they've got one. However, it does actually have administrative centre because you don't need to have them on their own. This one is completed on Argon Wharf. As you can see, the administrative centre is there. It's classed as a defence module. So this here is now claiming the territory for here. So that's the other thing. You have to make sure it isn't on another building. So you keep an eye out for that. Um, so if I wanted to take this sector here, I would have to destroy this administrative centre and make sure there's none on any others. Um, if they are on the other um, systems, they will there will be the defense modules um, and you'll be able to take them out. So you're looking for the Argon, administrative center for the Argon and obviously for whatever faction it is you're trying to claim, you want to take that down. So that will then clear the sector for you. However, as mentioned, we're talking about claiming sectors that don't have anything. So as you can see in these areas here, now you're going to ask, how have I got these satellites placed out here? This is a custom game start just so I can show you what to do um with, with with claiming sectors that's not a standard thing and you can't deploy it unless you're really good at deploying satellites of course so you'll need to go to a faction representative to claim the blueprints for an administrative center if you need to know how to do that make sure you check out the uh, station building guide and that'll tell you a little bit more on how to do that once you do it you then claim a plot as you can see the price is zero because it's not owned by anybody so you're not buying a license for anybody you then want to continue, and then you basically want to go to your defense modules here. And knock. you want to choose which administrative gotcha. center you want, depending on the faction you're going for, or whatever style you want. Um, also, if you know you're fighting the Argon, and you have the blueprint, you can see which one is, at a glance, the administrative center. I'm going to shove a Boron on here, because it is the Boron Editions. And then I'm going to confirm the modules, and then going to manage my buy offers. Accept all that there. Hire a builder. We're going to try and find ourselves a builder now. There we go. There's a builder. We're going to go ahead and build that now. You'll notice that nothing has changed at the moment because we still don't have one built. So somebody could come along and actually wipe it out before they get a chance to build it. Hopefully they don't. Um, I'm going to place another one here. We're going to do the same again. We're just going to throw an emissary center into here. Uh, we'll stick up another bore on one as well. Confirm module changes, accept the estimates, find another builder. This one's going to take a while to get to it. There we go there. So, once they are both built, they will become ours, and that entire sector will be ours as well. Um, so that will actually turn green, which is for our colour. Um, and obviously, if we want to do that for the enemy... Then obviously, as I said, you need to find where they are. You'll just have this fog area here. Uh, find where the administrative centre is. Take it out. It will then go to the colour here. The, the light grey-white colour. 
That means you can then claim it for yourself. You can build your own first and then take it out, but it doesn't really make much difference. You can't overrule it once it's set. So, for example, the Argon Prime have this. If I started building loads of administrative centers here, it's not going to do diddly squat. It's going to stick to the Argon Prime. Um, same for yours. If you've got one up already, then the enemy puts one down. You still claim your sector. And with claiming your own sector, it means you have you govern that area, so you don't fall under the policing rules. Um, you can also set things like you know what's illegal in your sector by using the trade rules and stuff like that. Um, all that kind of stuff we've done with trades. Uh, so you can look on that as well. It's on your player information. So that's pretty much all it is to claiming your own sector. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, there isn't really much to it. Um, I'm going to fast forward it now, just so you can see what it looks like when you actually do claim a sector. And you can see that, you know, just having these defense platforms will do it for us with the administrative center. So we'll be right back and we'll have a look what it looks like when it's done. And welcome back. And as you can see here now, Napoleon's Fortune 6 is green. However, the whole sector is still this white color because we need Napoleon's Fortune 2 to be claimed and then it'll claim the whole sector for us. And then it'll be just like these here. Now, everything in this sector now, I can, you, you know, put down my own rulings and stuff like that. It's my sector to police. And I can work on it from there. And as you can see, you get these little, this little icon here, which will, that's for all defense platforms. However, most of these will have an administrative center to look out for as well. Um, and that's, it'll change from that little piece there to that piece there. So that's basically it. That's how you claim your own sectors. Um, that'll obviously change for the whole sector for that once once that second one is built. And then I have claimed a sector for myself. And this is as easy as that. And you can do the same, as I've said already, with any of the other sectors. All you need to do is find the mystery to center, take it out, and then build your own. And claim it for yourself. So hopefully that helps you take over the galaxy. And, uh, and yeah, and, and hopefully, if you haven't already known this, then uh, it gives you a little bit of an easier way to claim your own sectors. Uh, Napoleon's Fortune generally is a neutral sector, so it's a good start um, as a bit of a piece of advice as well. But that's going to be us for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or anything like that. But until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.